SIFT algorithm or the SIFT descriptor is a way for describing local image content. And so the, the basic idea is that you want to give a signature to a local area in an image. So you may ask yourself first, why should I care about that? Uh, why am I, am I interested in that? So most of the three reconstruction algorithms that we are actually developing require us to know distinct points or to be able to identify distinct points in images. So for example, we have multiple photos of the same scene and we need to identify which point in the scene is seen in picture one, picture two, picture three. We really need to pinpoint them down very precisely. And that's a task which was traditionally done by humans. So you had human operators, for example, analyzing aerial images in a, in a time far before we had computers by basically manually se selecting distinct points. So the user was interpreting the image and then selecting exactly the same point in multiple images. Yeah. And that's something that the SIFT algorithm tries to automate. So first, we have a technique that looks for so-called key points or for locally distinct points, so points that stand out, given, stand out given the local surrounding. And then the signature um, or the descriptor that we want to compute around such a key point basically encodes how this point looks like basically a signature of the local surrounding. You can see it like your signature. So I have a signature, different signature than you have. And by seeing our signature, you can say, okay, this must be Eugene or this must be Cyril. And this is very similar for the visual image content. So you have a point and you want to describe the local surrounding. And SIF basically does this based on gradient information. So it checks how do the intensity values differ in those local regions? Because it turns out that the absolute color value or the absolute intensity value in terms of how bright it is, is changing a lot based on your exposure, based on their sunlight outside. Though so they change actually quite substantially. It's very hard to do this just based on intensity information. I see. But if you look to the changes in intensity, so things like corners or other strong gradients, that's actually pretty robust under illumination changes. And that is a pattern that the SIF descriptor basically looks for.